about 24 hours and I have not started the packing process yet. I don't love packing, but I love the process of like getting everything out and together and I'm going to the Bahamas. So a very tropical, very spring break. So I figured this could be a helpful video if you have any trips coming up. I know a lot of people like to do tropical things, come down to Florida, basically the whole beachy vibe for like a spring break vacation. So without further ado, let's get into what I have to do before I'm ready to leave very soon. First things first. To-do list and this is my to-do list papers. They're from All Things Lillian. I'll leave her linked in the description box. She has the cutest planner pages and just the first things that come to mind are nothing. Nothing comes to mind. Okay, got it. So the first things that come to mind are I need to go get my nails done, go to my COVID test, obviously pack, plan out some outfits. I do need to take like the everything shower, the hair wash, the shaving, lotion, all of that stuff. I'm gonna write these things down and then we are gonna get into the packing process. So the first thing I do when packing is I pick out the stuff that I am collaborating or working with companies on. I have some swimsuits or some dresses or little things like that and then that way when I go into my closet to pick out just from the things in my closet, I know like what's missing or what else I need to grab. So of the swimsuits that I just grabbed from my bin of like new arrivals and companies I am working with, I have quite a few. I'm just going to mostly pack everything from here. I know obviously I don't need more swimsuits. It's five or six days I think, but I hate putting on wet swimsuits and I take a lot of pictures. I just love to have a lot of options. So I don't think I'll pack much more than this. I definitely have a good mix here and there's a lot going on. And I'm putting it all in this bag that I got from Skoka Swim. You'll notice from this whole packing video, I do everything into little bags. I find that it keeps me organized when packing, when unpacking, when I'm like on the actual trip. So without further ado, let's get into what swimsuits I am packing. First up, I have this string terry cloth one from Jean Ash and it looks like this. I have this little Valentine cherry one from Black Bow. This new one that I got from 437. Then I have these two from Kulani. Literally such a cute pattern and fit. I have two from Arl Swim. One is this like green checkered one. It fits so well, I can't wait to post in it. And then this other one right here, it's like the one you can tie a lot of different ways. And I have from Lolea Swim, it's a lot of these like string ones with the scrunchy bottom. So I have it in green, then in this like floral and plum colored one, and then this one, which is very tropical. It's like pink and orange. Next up I have from Lenny Swims, and these are all the same style of swimsuit. So it's this like bandeau with the tie, so you can make it bigger or smaller, and then just the matching bottoms. So I have it in this print, in this like red pink paisley print, and then in another pink and orange, very tropical print. Then I just packed this very simple brown swimsuit. It's from Koana Swim. I felt like this one is a great one for tanning or wearing underneath things. I packed one triangle suit. This is my favorite style. And then I have this one, which is from Skoka Swim, and it's just a blue one. Tons of bathing suits, but like I said, I like to change as I'm like doing stuff throughout the day. So I'm just going to pile these all up into this bag and then go ahead and put it in my suitcase. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to load up into the suitcase was dresses. I feel like for a spring break vacation, having a dress romper little comfy outfit that you can wear to dinner but also feel cute in or take sunset photos is just very fun i'm gonna start off with this romper from shop maddox you can wear it on top of your shoulders or like off the shoulder and it looks kind of like a dress it's very swishy i have this purple dress from Princess Polly. It's one of those that I feel like in the sunset could just be super cute. Then the next two are from Vestique. This one honestly reminds me of like a latte color. I feel like this one's more of a daytime dress to me. Um, I could honestly just throw this over a swimsuit. This gives me a very dinner on the beach and sunset. It's gorgeous. Last up is this dress from Petal and Pup. It's strapless and then has cutouts on the side and it's like a midi one. 
it has pockets so that discovery has made me very happy but that's all the dresses I'm bringing I feel like it's a good lineup of things that I can make casual or I could dress up a little bit for dinner next thing that we're gonna go for are the comfy things I thought first up I'm going to go for this brown set it's from PacSun it's these shorts and then a little baby tee this is something that I love to wear for just lounging then I have three different t-shirts they are all from my friend's brand the Beach Club I use t-shirts to sleep in to lounge in to bring to the beach so I wanted to have three of those I have my Jerf Avenue terry cloth tan set this one's really nice when it gets a little bit chillier to put on at night I have another Jerf set that is the breezy set and it's just this pinstripe has the button up i have my tried and true free people top this is another thing that i can throw over like a cute dress or with a t-shirt and it looks good either way i have this comfy jerf little cozy t-shirt or like long sleeve that i can wear and then a zip up that's from abercrombie Okay, also, I wasn't going to include these in the comfy things because I don't think of denim jean shorts as comfy, but I'm kind of like, don't have anything else to pack. And this is it, like this pile, swimsuits and those dresses. So I'm going to put things in my suitcase, but I am a little weirded out, like why that was so simple and easy. But I still do need like jewelry, toiletries, makeup hair tools shoes so maybe i just you know maybe this is it um but yeah we're gonna see about that okay the only thing i could think of that i didn't already have in this pile was an extra pair of sweatpants so the ones i'm wearing i'm actually going to put in there they're the wide leg kind of sweatpants from abercrombie and then a workout set so i just picked this one from set active it's like a pale blue color i figured these biker shorts could also be cute paired with like a t-shirt or something if I wanted to do that. I really did make a list and check it twice and I feel like I just packed, like I chose the right items. I did put in this triangle bag, bras, underwear, socks. Like I said, from all of this, you will see that I put everything in a bag, um, starting with something like this. I grabbed my SPF. I have a 15 oil, then I have a leave-in conditioner and if you're swimming in the ocean, you really should be putting that in your hair. These little SPF sun bum chapsticks. And then I have my super goop sunscreen and my scalp spray from sun bum also in a bag. I wanted to bring some hats because it's good to protect your face. So I have this beach club one and this is like my all time favorite hat, my lack of color bucket hat. And I love that with a little bikini. A Jerf Avenue baseball hat. Also this one. So I'm like, did I pack too many? I don't know if I'm gonna do this. I used to really like bucket hats, but I'm like, mm, I'm not sure. I have my beach bag here. So this one is from Erin Made. Honestly, I need to get another one because I use the heck out of this. What I'll probably end up doing is putting some of those clothing items in this bag and then putting it in my suitcase. Then in the shoe department, I wanted to go for my Burks. These ones are nice if I am walking around, if I'm going on the beach, whatever, just classic pair of Burks. I have my Javiana shoes and these ones are like the tried and true. I'm walking through the water, going on a boat, beach shoe. My Converse, I feel like these are the classic go-to with a pair of shorts or a dress. And then to the airport, I'm gonna wear my New Balance. So I'll have four pairs of shoes total. Normally on a spring break thing, I would pack like a nice little heel or something and I maybe still will, but I have a feeling that any dinner we go to, we'll just go on the beach for the sunset when we look nice. So a Converse or a Burke is going to do just fine. I literally just finished showing all of those pieces that I'm packing and then I got a package in from Grey Bandit. The stuff is like so freaking cute. This, I think I'm gonna be wearing every single day. How freaking cute. I'm gonna try on some of the rest of the stuff so I guess this is sort of a little haul or something. All right, this is also getting packed as well. I feel like this would be such a cute swimsuit cover up. It's so comfortable. I'm gonna throw this in with the dresses as well. Okay, if you guys follow Anna Stoll, these are her favorite jeans, I think of all time, but definitely from Grey Bandit. They're very cute. I got my normal size, a size 25. I don't know if I'm gonna pack jeans though. But I feel like having one pair in there could be a good thing. Like you never know what you're gonna want. I got this white tank and this white tank. 
So it's like very similar vibes. And this white shirt, this little like knit one that my friend Vivian wore. So it's like a lot of white. I feel like I should make a decision and just bring one or maybe two. Okay, I just tried this tank top on. It's like tighter and then it's that crochet. I also feel like this gives super spring break vibes. I'm in shock. This is my new favorite dress. It's so like figure flattering, form flattering, but so comfortable. Yeah, this is getting packed immediately. You cannot tell me that this isn't the aquamarine dress. Ah, I feel like I have so many dresses already. I'm for sure bringing the creamsicle one and then I just don't know. That's the stuff that I got from Grey Bandit and yeah, now I'm all confused. I realized that I didn't show some of the things I grabbed. I've gotten these matching little PJ sets that are that Jersey super soft material and I love sleeping in them. So I'm gonna pack them on the trip because I don't know, why not be cozy while I sleep? I'll show you what I have in the suitcase so far. We have the rest of the tops that are in here, two pairs of shoes, my flip flops and my Burks, and then all of my hats aside from this one, which can't fit in this spot, and then my Converse, which I'm gonna keep on this side. We are bringing things into the bathroom. So first up, hold on, first and foremost, Again, if you get anything from this video, I use so many bags. So this bag, I get a lot of questions about. It's from Unzip Your Aura. The bag has an N on it for Natalie. Uh, it's pink terry cloth, but then on the inside, it has like the most adorable little pattern. Let's start with brushes. I pretty much only use Real Techniques. This is what I use for bronzer, foundation, and blush. I have some eyeshadow brushes. I love this one from It Cosmetics. Then let's go primer. I use this Tula primer. It's the face filter. If you have not tried this, it is so good. It gives you like a little glow. I can't explain each product or else this is going to take forever, but I love that. My It Cosmetics CC cream, my translucent powder, cream bronzer from Glossier, also the bronzer stick from Charlotte Tilbury, my highlight from Charlotte Tilbury, my Rare Beauty blush, my Glossier blush, my powder blush, which is Milani, my powder bronzer, a little Armani Beauty concealer, a lip liner, my Glossier boy brow, for the brows. This little eyeshadow stick from Thrive, a liquid liner from Glossier, and then an Armani pencil liner. An eyeshadow primer. I'm not huge into doing eyeshadow because I'm not great at it, but this one is from ColourPop and it just has a lot of like good neutral and sparkly shades. Clear mascara and brow gel. This is a go-to for anything in the sun because if I don't want to wear mascara, um, I'll just put this on my eyelashes and it holds them with a curl without wearing mascara if you don't want to for like beach days. Then I have my Thrive Mascara for actual and then this setting spray from Urban Decay. But that all fits nicely in my bag. I have this drawstring bag which has my Dyson Airwrap in it. I take out some of the attachments and I only have the brush, the normal hair dryer, and the curlers. So I keep that in there. This drunk elephant bag, this is what I use for like the bulk of my toiletries. I got these bottles off of Amazon. This has my face wash in it. This has my shampoo and conditioner, so I need to fill these up just a little bit more. My body wash, which I also need to fill. A travel micellar water, travel exfoliator, a bikini serum thing. I use the one from my wax place. I grabbed my Way wave spray and leave-in conditioner. For moisturizer, I have my Tula um, 24 seven moisturizer. I love that stuff for daytime moisturizer. I did the Tula SPF and the glow screen from super goop. I alternate between the two of these. I love them both. I usually mix those with my DeBronzi from drunk elephant for skincare serum things. I have my niacinamide from it cosmetics, my brightening treatment drops from Tula. It's like a vitamin C serum that I use in the morning. My sensitive skin treatment drops that I use at night. Rose Glow and Get It. This is like an eye brightening balm. Honestly, I use this all throughout the day. I've seen such a difference in how bright and like awake it makes my eyes feel. And then my little Kiehl's 
um, under eye moisturizer. That is all the skincare. Some other stuff that I grabbed, uh, a wide tooth comb. I usually don't even bring a hairbrush with me because I use a wide tooth comb for most things. And then the stuff that I legit hate packing, but I always regret when I don't, dry shampoo. I just hate how big the bottle is, but buying the travel ones, I go through them so quickly. And then this blowout um, like spray, and it helps for blow drying. So if I pack my Dyson, I really feel like I should pack that. And I have my toothpaste, just use a big tube of that. My hair wash headband that I use while I do my makeup and stuff. So now my skincare bag is done. I'll show you what it looks like, and I'll go ahead and put that in my suitcase. All right, now this is what this side of the suitcase looks like, the SPF. I have my undergarments, my makeup, my toiletries, my hair dryer, all my different tote bags, and then the Converse that are over here. So I think the only thing left to do is get my jewelry together, hair things like clips, hair ties, etc., and then pack my backpack, which will have my book, my chargers, electronics, all of that kind of stuff. All right, I am doing all of my jewelry right now. This is my jewelry box. It's from Jack Maria, but I wanted to go over which pieces I'm bringing. First up, it is a beach vacation. So my first thought is my seashell earrings. So these are from my friend's business. They're called Coastline Color, real seashells from freaking Florida. And then they're little gold hoops. So I have white ones and then these like cute pink shells as well. For other jewelry, I have this in Root and Ava Jewels collection. I need to get pieces from her one she just came out with, but this is super cute. Then for my classics, I have just these gold little chain hoops from Jack Maria. And super simple, but nice to dress something up. Little flower ones from ALV Jewels. And they just have little dangly flowers. And then I have the ones in my ears right now. These are my most go-to simple ones. They're from Cash New York and they're just a little twist hoop. Then for rings, Pretty much all of them are either from Jack Maria or Cash New York in here, but I have some heart ones, some smiley, some flower, some very simple ones that I just put in this. Bracelets, I have my watch from Waldor that I'm bringing and then my little words project. Some say be you, some say love you, um, stay strong, grateful. So I keep these in this little bag and stick that in my jewelry box as well. For necklaces, I have this seashell one, which is from my friend's company. Uh, this one goes along with those earrings that I have, a little rainbow, which is so freaking cute. This one is from Cash New York, a little smiley. I went for like very fun jewelry on this. And then I have a little flower. So a lot of those like pendant looking necklaces. Then I have another seashell one and I'm gonna grab some simple chain necklaces cause I like to use those for layering and my jewelry box will be ready to go. The next bag that I have, I just got, it's from Calpac. It's like a very hard, um, hard shell bag. It has nice pockets in it. But my thought for this was it will be really nice to keep my hair clips in. And then in the top compartment, I have my sunglasses. And then I also have some headbands. This little bag has bobby pins, little elastics in it, and then normal hair ties. Oh my gosh, I forgot to pack perfume. Maybe I'll find a way to put that in this cow pack case, so we'll see. Okay, I have never been happier than the fact that this fits perfectly with the sunglasses and bracelet, and I don't have to worry about it breaking. That literally just filled my soul. Okay, I think the suitcase is officially done. So this is what she looks like. I honestly don't think I have anything else to pack in there. So I will show you the final look into it. So again, you saw that side. It has the majority of the clothes over there. And over here, it has a lot of those bags with the different items. Uh, there's the two that I just put in and then I threw in a book there. I still have to put in my tripod, but this is kind of what it looks like. We are nearing the end of the packing saga. The last thing that I was thinking is my backpack for travel and what I keep in here. So you know what it is, another bag. This one is from Set Active and then I put wipes, liquid IV, a little first aid kit, a little Neosporin, a little Tums, I'm a hurt tummy type of girl. I have this little Advil. I'm actually going to refill it though because it sounds like there's only a couple left in there. Then I have this um, hand sanitizer. Some little melatonin gummies. Nasal decongestant, I guess. Gas-X, okay. 
Pepto-Bismol, a Tide to go because I'm a girl who spills, a pen because you, have you ever been on a flight and they like fill out this form and you don't have a pen, so a pen, and then a lip gloss, and then I'm gonna throw my probiotics and my multivitamin into this bag. Then also in my backpack, I'll have the book that I am currently reading, my vlog camera, my film camera, some extra film, which I think I'm just gonna stick in this bag, and then my chargers, and that is like the full packing thing. That's everything that I bring. I just realized that I crossed off everything on my to-do list. I love doing these packing videos, so if you are going on a spring break vacation, I feel like this is a good comprehensive list. Um, I will go ahead and put up my screenshots of my notes, what I use to do it right here. And if you want to screenshot those or like the video and come back to it, I feel like it's really helpful. You can kind of modify it for the like different places that you're going. Make sure to like, subscribe. I'm gonna have content going up from the Bahamas trip and then a lot of other exciting videos that are coming up. So I cannot wait for everything happening. Thank you so much and thank you for watching the video. Thank you.